Welcome to game two of the grand finals of the Fragbite Thor Open number three qualifier. This is a match between Root Gaming and Absolute Legends. Root Gaming took game one in a pretty convincing fashion, although AL did a nice job holding on. And this should be on the European server, so Absolute Legends should not be uh, too angry anymore. But with me is the manager of Dignitas Monolith. That was a pretty interesting game one, but hopefully we'll see more clean players by Absolute Legends at the least. Yeah, I think uh, they might be a little bit on tilt now, but uh, should give them a, some motivation to uh, play really hard this series. Yeah, I mean, uh, <laughs> come with the Freezer, Vigos, probably all known for uh, playing while angry, and they played pretty well for the most part. Unfortunately, AL, they held on, but they just got into too big of an early game deficit, and they really need to just, they need to win at least a, one or two of their lanes in order to stay in it, because... They show their perseverance at the end, but they need to win their lanes. Yeah, they got some good team fights, good initiation off at the end, but unfortunately it was just too little too late, as uh, Root had already built up quite an advantage. Yep, as the Dark Sears is going to be abandoned by AL, knowing that Root does have first pick. Meanwhile, Root bans out the bat or the Dirge, the Undying, and the Templar Assassin. Uh, we'll see if Absolute does ban out the bat. Will they leave in the pool for Vigos? That might be the best option. Uh, will they ban out the Rubik instead? Absolute Legends clearly thinking, what should we do? Should we give Batrider up? Should we give Rubik up? Yeah, so far we got some... Oh, and a... Oh, I'm just going to say pick your poison. We're going to get one of them at the very least. We want to face both of them like we did in the last game. So, yeah, Monkey's playing a very strong Batrider throughout the tournament, so we'll see, uh. Rubik usually is the first pickup, but Batrider's just been so strong these days, uh, and Monkey's has been playing him so well. Got, like, so many initiations, and we are going to see a first pickup Batrider. It makes a lot of sense. Monkey's has just been really, really good on him all, all this tournament. Yeah, he did well. Picked off a lot of the, uh, key heroes, and it, he was really patient. Um didn't go on the first hero he saw. He either always picked off the uh, PA or the DS. Um, and he was really smart with uh, his targets. Yep, meanwhile, AL probably going to pick up the Rubik. Yes, they are going to pick up the Rubik. And they pick up the Wisp as well. They are saying, we are going back to our aggression roots. We are going to pick Wisp and just probably try to gank you all game long. As uh, Root, what will they respond with? Uh, Wisp? He's interesting because uh, he either gets first banned or he just doesn't see play at all. Yeah, I can expect Root to ban out heroes like Tiny, CK now. Um, just things that work just really well with Wisp. We'll see what happens though. Um... Yeah, Root, uh, they are a bit limited now that they are against Rubik. Might have to worry about giving up a giant team fight ultimate. Absolutely, just did ban out the Tyranter. But Root, they will have to be careful uh, picking up a hero like Enigma or something like that, Brewmaster. So, uh, yeah, that's Respect. the problem with uh, Rubik. He just limits so much of your ability and you really just have to think a lot about what you're going to pick up next in order to sort of deal with that spell shield or spell steal. Yeah, I, I imagine they were going to pick up a Jakiro again. That hero is just too strong. Yeah, Jakiro, probably... Uh, 75 mana on Ice Path, considering you have like 400 base mana at level 1. Pretty good, oh, and like yeah, 650 HP at level 1. Pretty yeah. Good. And Pretty good hero. Yeah, uh, like 2.3 strength growth, something ridiculous. Uh, as Ice Path is just really, really strong. Has Dual Breath as well, Liquid Fire for pushing. They pick up the Shadow Demon. Shadow Demon, interesting pickup with the third pick. I guess just leaving it open what they want to go for the last two, just saying... Alright, we have our supports, we have our mid lane. It's all up to you what you want to decide to ban from here on out. That's interesting though, we don't see too many Shadow Demons now. Heroes sort of fallen off as well after the International. Um, could have saved it for a uh, fourth or fifth pick. Don't know that they needed to pick it now. Yeah, I, that's what I was thinking. Just, you could pick up the Shadow Demon, but in the first round, that means you're going to limit. Absolute Legends are going to start to ban out carries and off lanes as we see a disconnect. So we're probably just going to be able to remake this game. Or Mania. Maybe he'll be able to get back in this game. But AL taking some time. Will they pick up the carry to go in conjunction with the Wisp right now? Or will they let Root start banging them out? That's their decision at the moment. Yeah. See what they pick. Oops. 
I'd be surprised if we don't see something like a Chaos Knight or a Tiny right now. Yeah, I mean... They're in danger of it getting banned in the, uh, the next phase. Yeah, I mean, when you get a tanky hero, like Tiny, or they pick up the Bounty Hunter for the offlane, uh, Freezer actually played, what was it Freezer? Was it? I think it was Freezer, played a remarkable offlane Bounty Hunter, just got ridiculously farmed so fast. But this is a different team. Root Gaming has looked strong throughout the entire tournament, so we'll see how this shapes up. Interesting. Uh, Bounty Hunter, all he needs is level 6 to get his gank going. Yep, could work really well with Wisps. Just uh, TP in, get some easy track build. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, they, they tried that gank heavy, or that try and pick off lone heroes sort of thing last game. And Root responded really well by just sticking together as 4 or 5 the entire time. Uh, so Vigos was never able to really get off those, those easy Orchid Clinks strafe kills. So I yeah. uh, don't know that it's going to work that well again uh, this time around. In order for AL to win, they have to have Vigos actually be like a significant factor. He was pretty much minus 1 that game, as uh, he did not do very well. He just got eliminated, pressured so hard by the Batrider, and... Guess what? Root picks up Barret yet again, so whoever goes against him in the mid lane. Maybe AL should experiment with the dual lane, but still Barret can get enough experience as we're going to see the carry band start to come out. Heroes that soon with Wisp, and heroes that can carry for Root as maybe we're going to see a new carry. That would be pretty cool. Yeah. That, that Lifestealer band. He's, he's been seeing more popularity there uh, lately. I um, think... Who picked them up? Uh, I think it was in the Premier League he got picked up. Yeah, I know a uh, bunch of teams have actually been experimenting. I know he's been a favorite of EG for a long time, but that armlet buff has been huge for him. He's just oh yeah, that armlet awesome. buff has been huge for so many heroes now, especially Chaos Knight. Uh, just one second toggle? Ridiculous. <laughs> Seriously. As a um, tiny man by root makes sense. As uh, you call that correctly, but will we see that chaos night ban? Uh, that is going to be the next question. But meanwhile, Al, they could put Rubik in the solo mid. Has decent time against Batrider, but will get eventually pressured down by Batrider. Uh, Wisp will be seeing in support. Bounty Hunter will be in offlane most likely. So they need their mid soul if Rubik's not going to do that, and they need their hard carry. So. AL still has to pick up some rolls. Yeah, I mean, Rubik can do decently against Batrider mid, if Batrider goes mid at all. Yeah, I mean, Root has been known to jungle Batrider. They can definitely switch it up if they have to. All they know is that they really love it, as Leshrac is going to be banned by AL. Interestingly enough, not banning out a carry, maybe they realizing, oh, there's not actually too many carries left, so we need one for ourselves. Yeah. But I don't think Root would have picked up Leshrac because they already have their supports. Maybe they were fearing a mid soul Leshrac? I'm not too sure. Yeah, I don't think that was a really necessary ban. Um, I mean, they have. Maybe they were thinking about a Shadow Deem Lesh Leshrac combo, but. I mean, they already have Jakiro, so. I don't think, I don't think Root was going to really pick up a Lesh. Yeah, I mean. I guess if they get their push going with the. Liquid Fire and Edict, it would be annoying for them to stop, but we'll see. But yeah, I don't I don't think they would have picked him up. As uh, Chen, or Holy Knight, is going to be the ban by Root Gaming as Absolute Legends. They are probably going to maybe ban out another carry, or perhaps a an offlane hero. Maybe the Windrunner, or something like that. They ban out the Chaos Knight. Makes a lot of... Wait, Absolute Wait. Legends ban the Chaos Knight. Huh? That's strange. Well, Chaos Knight Shadow Demon is a pretty powerful lane. Yeah. yeah. Along with, I guess, THD and uh, Jakiro and Chaos Knight can work, but I'm surprised they didn't they didn't save it for themselves. Because I don't think... I mean, there are other other carries that Root could have picked. I don't know that they would have gone with Chaos Knight. I guess we'll see. See, indeed, as uh, <laughs> this is going to be very interesting. As both teams dipping into their reserve time. Maybe we're gonna see a new K, like well, I mean AL they did use Alchemist, they got a blink dagger in him, and they 
Well, he was pretty much useless for most of the game because Bounty Hunter just carried the day. But AL have been known to pick up Alchemist, so we could see an Alk pick up by AL here. But Lone Druid going with what works. Liquid Fire in conjunction with that Lone Druid pushing is just so deadly. As Queen of Pain, a solid laner up against Bounty Hunter makes a lot of sense. So we are going to see a support Rubik. And one more hero for AL. So yep. AL looks like to be in better shape in last game. Got that Vigos Queen of Pain. Signature hero. Yep. As a uh, bit disappointed, no Vigos Clockworks. Uh, but still, Vigos Queen of Pain. Always good. As uh, probably one of the best laners to deal with Batrider in the mid lane. If Batrider does go mid lane. And we most likely will in this game. Meanwhile, Root. They have to be worried because there is a lot of ganking presence on Absolute Legend's side. And Lone Druid, very immobile. So they're going to have to use a lot of gold for teleportation scrolls. And uh, I don't know if Lone Druid with such an immobile carry. He was good in the last game, but I don't know if he's the correct, correct pickup here. Yeah, he can definitely get caught out pretty easily. That Bounty Hunter, Wisp, and Quap. They all have uh, really good mobility, and that is a gyrocopter. Yep, we actually played it in the tournament earlier. I did not actually cast that game. Luminous casted that game as I was in class, but... Yeah, <laughs> it'll be fun. I haven't seen the gyrocopter. I know, I think the skill build was like uh, one point to the first two, the missile and the rocket, and then just max whack cannon max stats. Max whack cannon, yeah, and, and, and farm. Yeah, but other than that, I haven't seen very much of him. I don't... I don't know if... I think teams are still experimenting with him. Uh, so I think he's he's definitely up in the air. I have no idea what's what's going to go on with Gyrocopter. No idea. Yep, he'll probably uh, a bit confused. As it'll be interesting to see how they lane this uh, Lone Druid off lane, I guess, they're going to have to do. And Disruptor, Disruption into that missile is a good setup, so you don't run away from that missile, which uh, people do quite frequently. Ice Path, of course, in long range, so also... Synergizes quite well with the missile as well. Uh, it'll be interesting to see if this farm can be spread out evenly. If they get pressure on Lone Druid on the top lane, that could mean a bad time for Lone Druid, but Gyrocopter, a very strong hard carry. Yeah, the... I mean, if he gets in good position, and... Uh, oh, that's a pudge. That is a pudge. This is going to be a very fun game. <laughs> as this is just very aggressive lineup versus a bit more of a passive line, but... There's the gyrocopters, there's a bat. They have the capability for aggression. As uh, both teams going to pick their heroes, so... Going to see a farming pudge, and... Farming gyrocopter. I mean, if, if gyro can get uh, get some good gold coming in, and good position in fights, flat cannon can absolutely just tear apart um, a poorly... Oh, got a remake. But yeah, flat cannon can absolutely tear apart a poorly positioned team. As uh, we're going to jump back into the game, server location Europe. But yeah, I mean, the X Factor, once again, as it usually comes down to, is going to be that Bounty Hunter. How will he do it in his lane? Can he get level 6? Can he just, uh, you know, will he die in his lane? I mean, the last time Freezer played Bounty Hunter, he got a solo lane up against a Nature's Prophet, fortunately for him. But I don't think Root will put a solo. Uh, they could put aggressive trial if they have to, but still, I don't know if they want to do that necessarily. So the X Factor is going to be the bounty hunter. Well, we'll see what happens. Yep. So if anybody's tuning in, this is the Frag Light Door Open Qualifier Number Three. This is the Grand Finals between Root Gaming and Absolute Legends. The winner of this gets a chance to participate in a Swedish land hosted by Frag Light, presented by Seedon, for eighteen thousand eight hundred dollars total prize pool. And there's eight, there's five more qualifiers to go. So you can sign up. It's an open tournament. But if you do win, uh, you gotta have a way to get there. So <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And unfortunately, tickets to Sweden, unless you live in Europe or nearby, are are very expensive. Yep. As uh, the man but, beside me would know, he's the manager of Dignitas Monolith. As uh, I guess, any shots to give at this time? Before we get into this game, uh, I guess shout out to my team, Team Dignitas. Shout out to our sponsors; they're they're awesome. They let us do what we love. Um, so big props to them. And shout out to NA Dota. <laughs> shout out 
Shout out to NA Dota as NA Dota. Probably not the happiest with DC Com, but I think uh, I think NA Dota likes me at the very least. <laughs> but yeah. Um, well, NA Dota is never really happy in general, so <laughs> that is definitely true. But uh, yeah, uh, we'll see. Uh, both teams trying to make friends with each other after a little bit of a, a frustrating game one for uh, both teams. But, uh, you know, they're all friends. Well, they're all acquaintances at the very least. Yeah, I mean, we all, f I mean, the, the competitive community, we all flame each other, but in yeah. the end, in the end, it's... It's dumb. It's, it's like a huge dysfunctional family. That is definitely true. As we are just gonna wait for the stand-ins, uh, whoever's coming in. Uh, don't know who's standing in DDX, probably because his lag was probably too unbearable. On no, he is oh, there, getting... so he's gonna play Brax. Getting Brax. Hmm. So uh, DDX is just gonna chill, I guess. Guess they were unsatisfied with. Bulba's, uh, Bulba's Silibear dying to, dying to neutrals. <laughs> I suppose so, apparently. <laughs> Ancients are too good, apparently. As, uh, gonna get back in this game. And this is game two. Root only needs one more victory. And, uh, maybe we'll see them make their first line appearance if, uh, they can send them out to Sweden, but, yeah. One more victory to win the qualifier and get them a spot in the land finals, but... This is going to be an awesome game. Really, really cool picks. Pudge, Gyrocopter. I mean, what more do you want in life? Well, I'd want a Dirge as well, but he got first band. I want to see something like... Or Spirit Breaker. Yeah, I want to see Spirit Breakers. I want to see Huskar. Huskar is awesome. He is my favorite hero. I just love heroes where you just... You can just you charge just in. Up. I love heroes where you can just charge in with, like... Barret or Huskar or, uh, you know, Undying. Do your yeah. stuff, and then you can just die. And then, like, you know, if you die, you just blame your team, because they're noobs. I love those man-up heroes. I think we need more man-up heroes in Dota. <laughs> the new changelog, uh, Centaur. I used to think Centaur was boring as heck, but now Centaur might be <laughs> new. That is, that is ridiculous. That Stampede? I want to see that. Global Zero Collision, so... Oh my god, it's gonna be too good. But yeah, like that's all for everybody. Yep, we're gonna see that in action Thursday in the next qualifier, <laughs> and with all the matches that happen Thursday as uh You know, love was shown, but still, <laughs> you know, people wanna play the game. Dota very time consuming. You got getting a little impatient. <laughs> yeah, probably a bit upset that but GLHF we're gonna get into this game so to the players and teams I'll go over uh, Root as fun is gonna be playing the Shadow Dean Monkey is gonna be playing the Bat Rider once again LGD Brax.int now in China gonna be playing that Lone Druid Korea is gonna be playing that Gyrocopter and Broccoli is gonna be playing that Jakiro wanna go Rayo? Yeah and on uh, on the dire side we have come with me playing the Wisp Freezer on the Bounty Hunter Vigos on his signature Queen of Pain, Sony on Pudge, and Mania on Rubik. Do you know if Brax is actually in China at the moment? I know no, Pi Cat is. He's not? not no. Uh, he and 1437 uh, leave the end of October. Do you know how long they're going to be there for? Forever? Um, probably about 10 months. Dang. Going to be seriously boot camping, but uh, yeah, if you do want to. If you want to get a mindset into an American person's life, I know NA Dota, he's going to do a blog for NA Dota, so check that out. Yeah, it's, that's going to be a really scary team. Uh, I mean, it's basically a 10 month long boot camp practicing against the best Chinese. Yeah, it's, uh, it's what the Chinese do. So yeah. they're going to finally get a European slash Western team in there to get the atmosphere. Yeah, it's definitely going to be scary, and you can see the tri lane setting up now. Brax is going to be playing that long lane, uh, long lane lone druid using that bear to pull the creeps. And then we have Korea uh, playing that hard carry at the bottom, safe lane. 
Yep, we'll see if they have any Centuars on the rain bottom lane. Not yet, as uh, Jakiro, he does have Centuars, so once he lumps there, he will be able to place him, and Freezer will be uh, hard pressed to stay in the lane. As the Poor Man Shield got some items ferried over to him, as looks like the bear is taking a lot of damage. Able to pull the creep wave nonetheless. Going to be a bit more difficult to pudge, for Pudge to last hit, but Bear is going to get some experience. Nicely done by him. You know, Freezer knowing that Jakiro is not nearby, and now Jakiro is, so they are going to see the Centuard. Freezer is going to run right by it, so he should be okay, but this is going to be shaping out to be a very tame early game. Yeah, I would have liked to see. Uh... That bounty hunter oh, pulled mid lane, as even though he has nine stacks, Vigas is going to charge in. One more hit onto Monkey. He does get the first one. Ten stacks. This is probably the only difficult matchup for Barrider in the mid lane is the Queen of Pain. Yeah, that's some great play out of Vigas, and he still has ten wand charges. Yeah, he took ten stacks right to the face and said, "Can I please have some more?" As he just uh, man moded up. Uh, well. Just able to harass down Barrider. Barrider, not the best armor. Queen of Pain, better range, better attack animation, and able to just stay in there, knowing that she can plug back at any time. Since Barrider got Flame Break at level 2, so didn't even get Firefly. Oh, wow. <laughs> As usually I get Firefly. Yeah, you get Firefly just to at least put the thought into Scare. Maybe Vigas hasn't noticed that you got Flame Break. So the scare might still be going on, but Vigas will have the bottle, so it's going to be delivered to him right now. Me all the bomb lane, uh, Freezer the X Factor that I called is not having too good of a time. Yeah, he really can't do anything. Uh, he actually managed to get the level two though. That's uh, definitely surprising. Yeah, he needs level six. Uh, ideally, he'd like some farm, but there might be engaged another centroid being placed. Uh, unfortunately, the missile was not used. And not that it would have helped, but <laughs> it was not used, as we're going to see the one point to the missile and one point to the rocket barrage. Probably go back into Black Cannon stats, but now you can just see Monkey's finally having a difficult matchup in this tournament. He's just been dawning on that batter, but Vigas Queen of Pain is just a whole different beast altogether. Flame Break going to push Vigas back on the screen. Pain pops the Illusion Rune. Can you blink back? Pops a Magic Wand as well. Monkey's going to take the fall, but the tar going to slow down Vigas. He dies as well. But still, good engagement for Vigas. Got the experience, and that's going to cement his lane dominance even more. As uh, Vigas really taking it to Monkey's. Monkey's played a remarkable Queen of Pain all tournament, but finally having some difficulties here. Yeah, that turn speed. Uh able to help monkeys out there on that slow. <laughs> yeah. As, uh, looks like Freezer, he is just outside of Century Road range. He might just be in it. He is in it as here comes Ice Path going to chain Freezer in place. Soul Catcher being used. Here comes a Missile. I don't know if they have another Century Road. The Missile, I don't think nope, it hits. Does it hit in Miz? Nope. It does not hit in Miz. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, Root Wasted that sentry ward, put it a bit too close uh, when they weren't going to get off the uh, disruption on the first gank. On yeah, Freezer. and that cost them a kill. So Freezer, he's going to get some experience on the tower, and all he needs is level 6, and then he can start his gank party. Meanwhile, in the mid lane, it looks like Monkey's trying to do as much damage as possible of Firefly proving to be too successful. Vigas, only two stacks. He's going to go back in. He wants blood. He smells blood. He's flame breaking to hold him in place, but another right click by Vigas. Taking it to monkeys, man. And this is why when we see Batrider pick, I often see a Queen of Pain ban, because that is probably the best counter to him in the laning phase. And meanwhile, Freezer, he's going to hit level 4 relatively soon, so Root having a bit of trouble in the solo game. But Modrud has 7 last hits, has not died just yet. Yeah, I mean, I think one of the reasons we see uh, Batrider when he's picked, he's so often put in the jungle. Oh, what a hook on the top lane, as looks like Pudge with the Wisp does get a kill on Lone Druid. And sorry, what are you going to say about Batrider? Yeah, I, I think one of the reasons we so often see Batrider thrown into the jungle is that it's actually... Laning against the Batrider mid is manageable, even with his new buff. I mean, when you put a Batrider mid, you kind of want to shut down the, the other solo mid. But, I mean... If you just manage the stacks, playing against the Batrider is very manageable. Yeah, 
and uh, Vigas with that blink is able to escape as uh, looks like Root is having a difficult time in the landing phase thus far. Gyrocopter, 22 and 4, I don't know if he died, I can't remember, I think he did die, he did die, 0 and 1. As uh, we're going to see a bite onto the top lane, LGD Brack is going to die once again to the Pudge and Wisp combination. Just proving to be very difficult to deal with as Root looks to be in a tricky situation at this stage in the game. Yeah, that Wisp combination is working out really well for them. Yep. Meanwhile, uh, Gyrocopter not going in the flag handle, got two points in each. So, trying to be a bit more early game focused. Uh, trying to do as much magical damage as possible. But, uh, Raid do see the ward, they do see Vigas picking up the rune. So, this gank should be unsuccessful. We see Mania teleporting to the bottom lane, trying to defend this tower. Has, what level is he? Has level 2 Fade Bolt, so he's gonna help out Freezer in that regard. Yeah, these lanes are really not working out for Root right now. I, uh, I, you can go ahead and say that they've pretty much lost all their lanes. Brax has died twice, um, and he's a lower level than the Bounty Hunter. Vigos has absolutely dominated. Oh, Bounty. what a hook again onto Brax as he does manage to get the kill once again on the Lone Druid. Uh, maybe they're missing Bola just a bit now. Yeah. Has uh, Flamebreak going to push Queen of Pain back? Trying to get the Null Talisman shift towards her, or get the treads, I guess. As meanwhile, Gyrocopter just... This is the problem with Gyrocopter. He kind of sucks when you, uh... <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. And, uh, and uh, Freezer's, you know, he's getting levels in an offlane bounty hunter where, you know, he sh should be level 1. Yeah. But, uh, I mean, he should be level 1, but, I mean, he's almost hit level 6. He's a higher level than Brax. He has two kills. Uh, so, I mean, yeah. At this point, I mean, Root has pretty much lost all their lanes. No question. I mean, that gank by Vigas helped Freezer out immensely, but even before that, he was like level 3 before Vigas even helped him out in the gank. So, still, uh, that Centaur Miss Micro, not good, and uh, Jakiro, level 2 Ice Fast, Shadow Demon, not able to do too much. It's not like Shadow Demon will get tank here, as uh, here comes Freezer. He's coming around. Uh, Probably won't be able to get the kill, as there's going to be four heroes. Monkey's going to join the party as well. They might pick up this tower, but not too much else. Yeah, at least they're, I mean, they're doing something. They're taking the bottom tier one, uh, and they might as well at this point. Yeah, probably the best way to do that, get some gold in their pocket. As Freezer Windwalk does run out, here comes the Wisp combination, kills immediately Shadow Demon. As Wisp might take the fall, it looks like Korea gonna take a bunch of damage. One more hit on the Gyrocopter will get the kill. Monkey's gonna come go down as well as Vigas came in to reinforce. Three kills by Sony. Mega kill streak. Only Wisp took the fall. Huge engagement by Absolute Legends as uh I didn't even see Vigas coming from behind. Yeah, the this game is, is gonna start to get slowly out of control for uh for Root. I mean, there's, there's... Yeah, Wisp is one of those heroes that if you get into disadvantage, he will keep you there forever. As a uh, nice and tangle, but double damage Vigas able to pick up the solo kill onto Brax. Brax just having a miserable day. He's just saying, man, can I just get to China already? <laughs> yeah. Maybe they're, maybe he should die to neutrals a couple of times. <laughs> Man, the one thing he has going for him is that he hasn't died to neutrals just yet. Yeah, you can say. he's still ahead of Bulba in that regard. It's true, it's true. As here comes Come With Me and Pudge, they're trying to get a hook onto the gyrocopter. Korea, oh, hook a little too short. Pudge sometimes yeah. has that issue. Yeah, Come With Me should have uh, expanded those, uh, those spirits out earlier. Probably would have slowed down Korea long enough for, uh, for Sony to get that hook in. Monkey's actually helping out Absolute Legends there. Flamebreak pushed the heroes back. And Neon Vigas gets a kill onto Lone Druid. Rex is just not having a good time. Here comes Freezer. If they can get a track kill with this, oh man. This is just, uh, this is only going to get worse. It's not like a, as the track goes in on Korea, the hook whiffs, but the shuriken toss does stun as the, the uh, Wisp Teleport relocates them right next to the Jakiro as Rubik's gonna come in Mania with the Dismember. 
does get a kill. Now Shadow is gonna have to get the heck out of there. Sony's still full mana, misses the hook once again. Looks like Sony gonna dive in, can get the purge going. I don't know if he is even level six. Vigas picks off the Shadow Demon and just gonna escape away. You know, Freezer taking a bunch of damage, but that's not gonna be enough. Two to seventeen. This is looking like a stomp. Yeah, this is. Oh man. Uh, I mean, AL just has some pretty good snowball heroes, and they are starting to snowball. Uh, Bounty Hunter, that track gold, has given them a almost 10,000 gold lead, or 75,000 gold lead. 10,000 experience advantage in 10 minutes. That is ridiculous. As Brax going to morph into Lone Druid form, or the melee form, he might die. Ice Path going to come in. Four heroes from Root. Trying to reinforce that as the dual breath does with due to the disruption. A little bit of miscommunication there, but finally, Sony does die. Gyrocopter picks up a nice hefty bounty. Come with me, Juke left and right. Looks like the missile is going to fly in relatively soon, but that missile, it can't get there fast enough. Oh, oh yeah, God. and they come with me, managed to get away. Yeah, the only thing, they got Pudge and they got a nice bounty for Gyro, but still, he's a Gyro. Yeah, this is this is starting to get out of control. And the problem with Gyro is he needs a really, really good start. And especially since he didn't get flat cannon, now he's not gonna farm very quickly. So there's there's really not much he can do to catch up. I mean they have one tower, but I and mean, the only real push they have going for them is is uh, a Jikiro that's under leveled and a Syllabear that has died five times already. Well, they might get Freezer, they get the Dust, Disruptor, Disruption was used, looks like uh, Freezer is going to take the fall, ending another dominating streak, so nice case by the Root Squad, it looks like Queen of Pain trying to go for Barrow, here comes the Teleport in by Pudge, can he finally land a hook? Looks like uh, Barrow doing a nice job juking as the hook does with Vigas trying to go for the chase, can he get Monkeys, Monkeys should be able to escape, a couple more hits, Sonic Wave going to be used to kill Monkey. Well, hopefully it was Vigas. Vigas level 11, so that Sonic Wave did way too much damage. And even though they killed two Dominating Streaks, they still have to deal with Vigas. Meanwhile, on the bottom lane, Freezer, he wants Brax. Can he get Brax? That is the question. Just gonna use Track. Well, it was Freezer. Not yet level 11, so that Track's not the longest range just yet. Uh, Brax is revealed. They are gonna come and get him. They have Observer Ward as well. Just to spot him out. You cannot run. You cannot hide, even if you are a bear. Here comes the bear, can he get entangled onto Mania? Vigas gonna come in, looks like Brax is gonna take the fall, track gold bounty galore, as Shadow Demon teleports in, and the other teleport was cancelled, and now, oh man, poor fun, as he was just left by himself, he's just like, nope, not gonna come save you, bro. Yeah, I don't know what, I really don't know what, uh, Rue Gaming can do at this point. Uh... Vigas, Vigas almost has a scepter. He almost has a 14 minute scepter. With only 56 CS. <laughs> He's just been ganking 8 in 1. My god. This is a. Uh, this is a uh, classic Vigas. Or. Yeah, just, just outplaying people mid. Yep, so. Freezer's finished the drums, Pudge has finished the hood. Uh, Vigas almost a Scepter Rubik. Not too much, but, you know, Mania's oh, he's, doing work. He is not going Scepter. Picked up a Mithril Hammer. Yo, Deso. Deso Queen of Pain? Deso Queen of Pain. Too good. As, uh... Yeah, I don't know why he went for a Mithril Hammer. As, uh, looks like this tower will take the fall. As, uh, looks like Wist doing a nice job farming it up. Here comes the missile onto Vigas, but he should just be able to blink away. He does blink away to safety, the missile will get killed, because it's not that good. And here comes Wisp, the spirit's going to slow down as a purge is going to be cast on Kalanthi, tethers away. Can they get the tower at the very least? Still half HP, Laundry just not doing enough damage at this point. Double damage, Vigas is going to go in, trying to kill Monkeys, get the shadow strike off. Broccoli is going to be the first one to fall. Immediately, no, he gets a magic wand, nicely done. As backup power going to be used, here comes Pud, as looks like... Broccoli, the Jakiro does die. Hook comes in. Nice hook. Gets Shadow Demon. And is able to kill him. Queen of Pain kills Brax. Monkey's gonna have to get the heck out of there. And Gyrocopter should be the next one to fall. And this is, uh... Should be the end. Team wipe. Yep. 
15 minutes in team wipe. Uh, almost, uh, well, quadrupling at this point. No, quintupling at this point, so. Yep, I can do math. Sextupling, my god. Up it's okay, I'm awful at math, too. <laughs> sextupling up the. I don't even know if sextupling is a word. That's sextuplets, but whatever. Sextupling. It should be a word. I think it's a word. Okay. Quadrupling is a word, tripling. Yeah. yeah. Quintupling, sextupling. Okay, sextupling. Yeah. You know, I was a bit concerned because sextuplets, but. Yeah. Alright. Yep, Deso Queen of Pain. But yeah, six times as many kills. <laughs> oh, yeah, a little more than that. But yeah, this is this is getting out of hand for Root. Um, I mean, at this point, the I, th I think their only hope is really for for Absolute Legends just to throw the game. I mean, that's I mean, I hate to call it like that, but. There's really not much else that they can do or, or hope for if Absolute Legends just plays it right. Yeah, I mean... They don't even have to play it that conservatively because they're so ahead. The thing about Root's lineup is that it's a solid team fight, you know, good enough, better than at least Absolute Legends team fight, but they're just so far behind that it doesn't even matter at this point that you can just charge in and kill heroes because you're just so tanky or you have such a big level advantage that you can pretty much do whatever you want. and. It's not like these heroes give up map control. You have Queen of Pain flanking around the map. You have Wisp teleporting around the map. You have Pudge getting people out of the way all the time. So it's just be it's just relentless pressure. Yeah. Um, I mean, at this point, group just has to stick together at fi as five. There's there's nothing they can do because if one of them splinters off, they're gonna get killed by Queen of Pain in about two seconds. Yeah, got that Deso core on Queen of Pain. Uh, she's actually dealing 150 damage per attack with that nice minus armor to boot. And that is also very good in terms of taking down towers, which uh, Absolute Legends was lacking a little bit. So going to be useful in that regard. Just going to blink up onto the high crown. And they don't even see her. She's just lurking it up. Meanwhile, Freezer going to farm up has the drums as a... Well... Vigas killed somebody in about half a second, and I couldn't catch it. Meanwhile, uh, Rubik trying to get the farm going. Really, he just cannot bet Jarrow against the Sales squad. Jarrow trying to get his farm going. He finally has points in one point to flat can, 69 CS. But he is a Gyro, as Korea going to take a bit of damage. Hasted Gyro, or hasted Queen of Pain, able to escape even without the Aegis. As, uh... Nope. Hype is finished on the Pudge, and they have the Deso to bring down buildings, so that was probably the only thing they were lacking, way to kill buildings fast. So, yeah, should come in for the final push relatively soon. Not much more we can say at this stage. Yeah, I mean... We've you, already said it. I mean, you saw Brock Lee, he just got exploded. I didn't just, see, that's how fast it happened. Yeah, Queen of Pain just blinked down in two seconds, he died. I mean, and he wasn't even that far off from his allies either. Just, just a little bit out of position, and, and that was it. Well, Root, they have dignity. They are not going to go down with at least without a fight. Shrak going to go down onto Fun, revealing position all the while. Freezer gets entangled, but that bear not doing enough damage. And Freezer does have the Aegis. Track going to be spammed left and right. Pudge always positioned to get land a hook. And that Deso doing enough damage to towers, it looks like uh, Sticky Napalm was stolen by the Rubik. Gonna be able to stack those up, only a little too Sticky Napalm. Hook comes in, hits Broccoli, dies in about half a second. Nice hook by Sony. Well, at least a short cooldown on his death timer as Bounty Hunter managed to kill Fun. Bounty Hunter just gonna go to work, has the Aegis, knows he can do pretty much whatever he wants as Flame Vessel. So it's gonna be enough, can't even drag Freezer into the Fallon. Flame gonna try to get it, looks like the Aegis is gonna expire. Korea taking a bunch of damage. But Bounty Hunter only loses the Aegis in that engagement. And that's going to mean Rax at the very least. Yep. 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 And now this is, this is definitely over. Um, they're pretty much camping the fountain at this point. Yep. Just waiting for the GG. Call down going to be used. And it might kill come with me. Oh, oh I hope no. Bounty Hunter does die. As Korea is gonna take the fall, does die to one more hit by Rubik. They got two kills. 
Uh, they're going to try to kill Kamuthi and Vigos. Very low HP, very low mana. Flame Break not going to be enough as Bear does not have the Bear up. Telekinesis to send him back. Sticky Napalm holding Mania in place. Just going to pop the Drums charges whenever possible. Nope, looks like the Napalm is going to be enough. GG is going to be called by Fun knowing that it is over. Go next. Going to be used, so we'll just wait for everybody to disconnect. Get the final score screen. But yeah, uh, interesting finals to say the least. Two yeah. stops. Hopefully, uh, game three will be a little bit closer. Yeah, as uh, I think the teams will roll to see which server they on. Hey, I'll obviously hoping for European server. As uh, yeah, we're just gonna wait for the final score screen as Rain all disconnected. So that's gonna come up very shortly. But this has been game two of the Fragbite Thor Open Qualifier number three. Uh, presented by Cedon. I am Bebomb from Dota.com. With me is Dignitas Monolith, the manager of Team Dignitas. You're our American favorites. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you all very, very soon. Game up.